everyone, it's Megan from KenHub here, and welcome to our tutorial about the ventricles of the brain. Before we start talking about the ventricles of the brain, let's first define the word ventricle. A ventricle is a hollow area or cavity within an organ, usually filled with some kind of fluid. Our brain has four interconnected ventricles, and the fluid that fills them is called cerebrospinal fluid. Cerebrospinal fluid is a clear fluid that has several important functions in our central nervous system. Now you might be wondering where this fluid comes from. Well, almost every part of the ventricular system that we're going to see in this tutorial contains a choroid plexus, which includes epithelial cells that produce the cerebrospinal fluid. So as I just mentioned, there are four ventricles within the brain. Two lateral ventricles, the left and right lateral ventricles, the third ventricle found near the centre of the brain, and the fourth ventricle located deep to the cerebellum. Before we go any further, let's orientate ourselves. The image you can see on the right will feature throughout this tutorial, so it's important to understand what exactly we're looking at. Basically what we have here is a side-on view of the ventricles of the brain, which are coloured blue, with the otherwise surrounding cerebrum removed, so we can see structures such as the cerebellum, the brainstem, and the start of the spinal cord. So let's begin with the two largest ventricles, which are the lateral ventricles. There is a lateral ventricle in each hemisphere of the brain, and therefore there's a left lateral ventricle and a right lateral ventricle, each found in the respective side of the brain. Here we can see the right lateral ventricle hiding behind the left lateral ventricle as we're viewing these structures from the left hand side. So now let's have a closer look at these ventricles. Both lateral ventricles are roughly C-shaped, they have a central body and three horns projecting into the lobes of the brain, namely the anterior horn, the posterior horn and the inferior horn. The area we can now see highlighted in green is the central part of the lateral ventricle, which is located in the region of the parietal lobe. Its roof is formed by the corpus callosum, and it's floored by the superior surface of the thalamus and the tail of the caudate nucleus. Now you may have noticed that our image has changed slightly, so let's familiarise ourselves with it. We're still viewing the ventricles from the left hand side of the body, however we can now see the surrounding cerebrum. Let's move on to the three horns of the lateral ventricle, starting with the one we can see here, which is the anterior horn. The anterior horn of the lateral ventricle is essentially an extension of the lateral ventricle into the frontal lobe, which is why it's also known as the frontal horn. The frontal horns of each lateral ventricle are separated medially from each other by the septum pellucidum. The roof of these horns is formed by the corpus callosum, while the floor is formed by the head of the caudate nucleus. This video is not over yet. Continue watching now the full video at kenhub.com. We have lots more videos like this one available to our premium members on our website, not to mention all the fun quizzes, related articles, and atlas sections. So click on the button in the middle to watch the full-length video and master anatomy.